This boy lived in a bubble. Let me explain. This is David Vetter, a boy who was born with severe combined immunodeficiency, a rare genetic disorder that left him vulnerable to infections and even exposure to typically harmless pathogens could be fatal. To protect them from illness, Vetter lived in a sterile plastic chamber for most of his life, but that didn't stop him from living a full and meaningful life. Inside his chamber, Vetter had everything he needed, including a TV and a playroom. Communication was difficult due to loud air compressors that kept his chamber inflated, but Vetter still received a formal education and even once got to attend a special showing of Return of the Jedi in his transport chamber. To maintain the sterility of the chamber, water, air, food, diapers, and clothes had to be sterilized before they could enter. And despite the challenges he faced, Vetter still lived a full and meaningful life with the support of his family and medical team. Tragically, he passed away at the age of 12 due to complications from a bone marrow transplant, but his story has inspired numerous books and movies, including The Boy in the Plastic Bubble starring John Travolta. So 